All right, guys, it's CD here from Digital Dealer, and today we're going to be going over this Frutiger Metro aesthetic that has been coming back into style recently today. Today I'll be using the Saw Baby Switch video and just try to pick the best clips. I ended up choosing this clip, so now we're going to rotoscope our subject as best as possible because we'll be putting him on a different color background after rotoscoping. We're going to add a yellow solid layer as the new background. Now, let's add a null layer and a 3D camera to create a nice zoom effect coming down. I also switched to two views to get a better visualization of the camera now. From our web core pack, let's add a medium halftone pattern and scale it accordingly. Set the blending modes of the pattern to multiply, set the track mat to the rotoscoped video, and pre-composite when done. I'm now going to use the Xerox grain preset from our WebCore pack to threshold the whole pre-composition. We now have this nice threshold halftone effect, and now it's time to start adding our assets. Let's also add a stroke layer and have it go across the screen. Make it a 3D object. Lay it flat down and add a trim path with your desired keyframes to give this motion effect.
To take the look a step further, I'm now going to add the video in our VHS effect file and place it in the PVH section. Click on Transform and Fit to Comp, and then select the output composition. Our WebCore pack is currently available right now, link in description.